Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg. Today we are going to be having a look at Bitcoin and the US dollar. And that's really is a measure to see how Bitcoin has really been going in recent times. So as most of us are aware, Bitcoin has been struggling and had a quite an aggressive sell-off and this has largely been following on from the tech sell-off and uh, rising inflation and increased interest rates that have kind of seen the market take their money out of risk on assets, which um, for a long time Bitcoin was speculated as a hedge against inflation. But one thing that this recent period has probably shown us is that in fact it, it's definitely not a, um, or it's most likely not a hedge against inflation. It's much, it correlates much more in line with things like the NASDAQ and the tech sector and riskier assets that do well during periods of economic prosperity. So as we're having a look at the longer term chart, what we can see is that we've had this massive um, upward thrust through the through 20,000 all the way to about ma maxing out at about 80,000 before obviously this massive capitulation um, and real bearish type of trend. However, if we zoom in, um, specifically in since about um, June, the start of June, we can see that we found a base, and this base has been formed at about eighteen to twenty-two thousand. So as we zoom in a little bit further, we can see that we've had this period of consolidation, and that brings us really where we are today. So we've had this period of consolidation between about twenty-two thousand and, as I said, eighteen thousand, before finally having a little breakout, although it hasn't been confirmed yet, um, above 23,000. So this is really the first time we've seen any kind of super positive move from Bitcoin in recent times. Um, we'll just make this a bit bigger. And as we can see, it's just broken above this kind of top of the range at 23,000, but it's sold back off. So what, what does that mean? Well, as we have a look further above, we'll go back into the smaller time frame just to get a bit of an idea of, and see what's happening. Um, so just bear with me. We're looking at this is just the one hour chart. And this is just a, that same price action. So we can see we were able to break above for selling back and then breaking above again. So of course, this $23,000 level is going to be quite in a, a tough um, level of resistance to get through. And that's largely because it has been about two months of consolidation prior to this point um, where that that uh, top line of the range, that top resistance level has been tested. So it's going to take maybe, you know, quite a bit of time to get through or quite a large amount of volume. So we wouldn't, it wouldn't be unrealistic to expect that this price may come back, try and break out again, retest and then keep on going up or the breakout may fail and we may see it fall back to the bottom of that range. But it is definitely one to keep an eye on. And of course, with so much volatility in the cryptocurrency um, sector, um, you know, Bitcoin is often leading the way. But it's definitely just a wait and see with this one over here. Anyways, thank you very much for listening and have a good day.